Hello and welcome back to Project Zomboid with me, Barden, and Angela here. So we haven't died yet, which is great. Um, we lasted one episode, which thankfully um, we can. We don't need to make a new character. Might need to make one soon, though. We keep leaving all the bloody doors open. Okay, so I'm coming back to the original house where we started. And the reason that is because I want to... Um, oh, this isn't... This is not where we started. Hang on. Maybe it's not. Oh, I do want to take those seeds, though. Let's grab those. There's a sledgehammer there, which is nice. But I thought this was where... We started. We've got everything here. Yeah, mug of water. This is where we started. So let's grab all of those. Let's grab the saucepan with water. There's two of them. Let's grab another one. Okay, so that's. Keep doing that. I keep doing that to get out of inventory, inventories or menus when I don't have to. So let's uh, go back out. Then let's close the door. So a quick scan around. Okay, and then let's get her over this way and back into the house that we left the door open to as well. Let's now close the door. Let's. Do a zombie check. Okay, so what I want to do is to put as much um, containers of water in here as possible. Okay, bottled water we're going to keep on me for now. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff. Is that, in, is that my school bag down? No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna say we have a lot of stuff in the school bag, but so we've got a hammer and baseball bat in the school bag. That's nice. Nice things to be taken to school. And as we know, Angela was a receptionist. So um, the next piece of lore for Angela here is that she was a receptionist at a school. And apparently she was bringing things like baseball bats in her school bag. So obviously it wasn't the um, the nicest of schools, or maybe she just wasn't the nicest of receptionists. Okay, so let's get ourselves back over here. So now we want to take um, the water bottles. Okay, then let's have a look at the other stuff. So now she's unpleasantly hot. Does that mean, well, it can't mean that she doesn't have any water because we just put some water in there. Okay, so let's grab the cooking pot. Let's then grab another saucepan with water in it. I was going to say whoever owned this house seems to like saucepans, but I suppose um, there's only saucepan and cooking pot in the game. And if you're someone who likes to cook, you do um, end up with a lot of pots. Uh, let's take the kettle as well. Okay, and let's fill. kettle and then she's getting or we're getting a bit um, we're getting a, a bit hungry so let's see what there is to eat we could eat a fresh onion I'm sure that'd be delicious don't go kissing anybody though for a while after eating that okay um, I don't think we want to eat the worm the worms are good I think for fishing uh, tofu we'll grab that 
I've eaten plenty of tofu living here in Japan. Uh, let's eat the strawberries. Okay, and then, so she's not um, hungry anymore. Let's get ourselves out the door. Have a quick scan around again. Okay, make our way over this way. Okay, everything seems to be fine. So she can just, oh, hello zombie. Okay, oh, zombie's moving away. Admiring the flowers. Yes, they are beautiful flowers. Look at those beautiful flowers. Count how many petals, whack. Nice. And she almost got to jump on us. Um, let's take the ring. And the reason is because um, Angela here likes to collect stuff like this. So we'll take the ring. Maybe there's um, a story attached to it. Maybe it was her, the lady's wedding ring or something. And maybe Angela is thinking, well, you know, if, if her partner, whether, I don't know what, whether it was husband or wife um, comes back and is looking for them that at least we could give them the ring and say, you know, um, here you are. Uh, maybe not explain how we came across, exactly how we came across the ring. Maybe they wouldn't like to know that we um, bashed their partner's head in with a frying pan. So we could create some Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Let's create this. Actually, before I do that, um, let's see if we can find a book. Okay, so apparently that doesn't count as a bookshelf. Okay, interesting. But I want to find a cooking book so that she can do some cooking. So let's get back over to the other house. Oh, zombie down here. We have to keep on top of the zombies. Oh, he's coming for us. Okay, Mr. Zombie. Whack. Okay. He's got nothing for us to loot. It's lucky we didn't um, create a character who likes to collect um, shoes or something. Okay, so we got advanced foraging, expert farming, first aid for beginners. We shall grab that. Got fishing for beginners, metal work for beginners. Hmm. Let's take a magazine. Okay, so I'm looking for a cooking book. So there isn't one in this house. So I guess that means that we have to go look at the other houses instead. So let's drop a frying pan for a while. I don't know where all the zombie bodies go. Oh, look. Our lady here. Hello, miss. Okay, she's definitely dead. Well, she was dead already, but now she's double dead, I guess. Okay, hello, zombies. Don't eat me, please. Okay, so that does count. Okay, so we have to check the other one again. First aid for beginners. We already have that, okay. Foraging for beginners, I think we already have that. Carpentry for beginners will take. Let's grab that. Electricity for beginners, we'll take that. The farming magazine, trapping for beginners, we'll take that as well. Okay, but no cooking. Oh, again with the escaping at the wrong time. Let's get out. 
It's starting to rain now. Okay. Let's check over this way. Ah, so there's a zombie we killed earlier. Someone might be in here because the window is broken. Or that might have been him. But there's multiple windows broken. Okay. Hello. Zombies. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Okay. So are these doors? Yes, they are. Okay. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. Seems fine. Close the door. Open this one. And find where we're supposed to click. There we go. Hello, hello, coming in, coming in. Oh, look, this one has blinds on the window. One. Let's go close the blinds. No, close the blinds on the window, please. Where is the window interaction? Give me some window interaction, please. Or then starting. Okay, well, we leave you to it, I guess. Now let's see. Cooking for beginners. There we go. Let's grab that. Is there anything else? Farm magazine. Okay. Let's then get outside, close the door, and get back to our own house. So Angela here, she was so busy working in the school with her baseball bat in her bag um, that she didn't have time to learn how to cook. So, and um, actually aren't we supposed to be, oh yeah, we're a mall security guard. What am I talking about? So Angela here working in the mall, I guess, um, had McDonald's on her doorstep so she decided that um, she decided that eating junk food was the best way to go I guess so let's get her reading cooking for beginners then when she's finished she should be properly hungry and then she can do some can do, do her first bit of cooking. Actually, the first piece of cooking in her life. And actually, let's speed it up while she's reading. So, I think the characters read until they get bored. I should probably uh, take some of the stuff off as well, because she's got a heavy load again. Got a bit of a heavy heart too, after finding that lady's ring and wondering, you know, that could have been me, someone taking a ring off me, wondering who was the person it was attached to. But Angela here has no significant other. You know, she, a lot of people she knew in the mall, like especially the people who worked in McDonald's and stuff, who were not, they were friendly with her, but not really friends. Like she kind of um, had a lot of people that she knew without any, having really any close people. And uh, she's probably regret regretting that now that most of them have turned into zombies. Now she's finished that, so let's come over here and let's turn that on. Okay, now cooking pot with water. Okay, so let's create some Yeah, let's create some onion soup. Okay. That actually consumes the cooking. No, it doesn't. I thought that consumed the cooking pot. Then we can't use the saucepan for something like that. So let's um, drink all of the onion soup. Okay then she should be able to 
So we have to go fill it with water again, so let's do that. Well, she's only drank an entire, I suppose, one water bottle per day. You know, you're supposed to drink, I think it's a liter of water a day anyway. Um, so let's get a, another cooking pot and then let's fill that with water as well. But I'm trying to use up as much of the fresh ingredients as I can. Um, and while we're here as well, let's start putting some of this. Um, well, let's try and keep it organized. So the saucepan water can go in there. Okay, and then if we go over here, There's the books, okay. So trapping can go in there. First aid can go in there. Electricity can go in there. Okay, good. Oh, and there's my silly escaping when I'm not supposed to. Okay, um, now let's go to our cooking pots. Let's create a stew this time. Um, zucchini stew. Sounds delicious. Then let's create a, oh, we got dry ramen noodles. Definitely want to try that. And I think actually tonight I'm gonna to be um, eating ramen, but not, um, it won't be a dry one though, because um, here in Japan, kind of, it's more kind of fresh or stuff. You can get all the kind of the, um, the dried stuff, the, the ready-made stuff, but um, I prefer the ones where you, it's it's not kind of, I suppose here in Japan, it'd be kind of, it, those kind of things would be considered fast food. So I'd rather kind of the, the fresher ones. So let's add more of that in there. Okay, and then let's add the tofu. Okay, and then let's drink all of that. Okay, so now she's well fed, but she's still got a fairly heavy load. So let's see. So, ah, because she's carrying bloody cooking pots, of course. Um, let's turn that off. Then let's fill the cooking pot back up with water. Okay, and then we can stick it back in there. So we won't create a soup, we we'll put it in the container. Okay, and then we'll just have a quick look at anything that she shouldn't really be carrying um this zucchini stew um well that can go in to the refrigerator i guess um living in ireland um we would call the refrigerator just a fridge or should i say growing up in ireland i actually live in japan not in ireland um but with that bit of cooking done, that is the end of this particular episode. So Angela has um, survived for a second one. And I better pause in case she dies while I'm speaking. Um, but that is the end of this particular one. So I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.